Happy Father's Day from Rodeo Drive. My name is William Colick, and I'm North American Sales Director for Pagani Automobile. So this year we're fortunate enough to have two cars that were loaned to us by a great client. He's local to Beverly Hills, and he owns both a 2014 Wyra Coupe and also a 2017 model year Wyra Roadster, which is this car here. The first thing that's important with Pagani owners is that typically they don't sell the previous model that they have. They look at them as sculptures and they just kind of collect each new model that Horatio puts out. So again, we have the 2014 Wyra Coupe that you see that's been upgraded with a Tempesta package. It's a six liter twin turbo V12 with 730 horse. When we moved to the Wyra Roadster, the car has actually lost a little bit of weight which is quite rare when you move from a coupe to a roadster, but that's due to a new type of carbon fiber weave that Horatio has patented called HP Carbotriax 52. Complicated, I know, but lighter weight. Uh, also, the roadster is lighter weight, but more powerful. So we're looking at 760 horsepower for this particular car and uh, 237 miles per hour in the top end, so not too bad. People always first and foremost say, what kind of car is this? We're not familiar with Pagani. So we always have to go through a little bit of the backstory and just inform them that Mr. Pagani is originally from Argentina and he migrated to Italy in the early 80s. At that point, he began to work for Lamborghini for about nine, nine and a half years. And this year, surprisingly, is Pagani Automobili's 20th anniversary. So the company's 20 years old this year, which is not too bad for a family-owned company. He didn't manage to get enveloped by the Volkswagen Auto Group yet, so it's pretty spectacular. It's great just to see the faces of kids with their parents when they come and see a car like this. They equate it to something they've seen in a video game or something that they may have had in a toy. I mean, this isn't a toy, this is the actual key, but uh, it looks like a toy, so it's pretty funny. To some very, very fortunate people, these are considered toys as well, full-size toys. This is the 25th anniversary of the show. The location's great. We just launched a new dealer, Pagani Beverly Hills, which is located not that far away on Robertson. The same owners also have Pagani Newport Beach, so these are both new locations for us. We do have a few things in the works, so again, this is a standard Roadster, but the car that's coming after this is called the BC Roadster, which will be akin to the BC Coupe. So it'll be lighter weight, more powerful, with much more aggressive aerodynamics. After that, we have a car called the C10, codenamed the C10, which will succeed the Wyra family. So not too many details on that just yet, but we're looking forward to it. Big thanks to you guys for coming and spending time with us over at our display, and we hope to see you again next year. Welcome to the Concourse de Elegance here on Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills. The 25th uh, anniversary of the show, and uh, I've had cars here before a couple of times on and off. And it's, a, it's just a fun event socially and automotive-wise. They wanted silver cars because of the anniversary event, so I volunteered to bring this car here. It's a 57 Corvette. 57 was a watershed year for Corvette because it was the first year where Corvette became a serious sports car. Before that, it was kind of a joke because of a little six-cylinder, a little two-speed automatic transmission and the sports car world never took the Corvette seriously in the early years. In 57 was the first year for fuel injection, four speed, uh, positive traction, so it was a watershed year for Corvette. The car was an originally an Arizona car and it was purchased by an individual that did a restoration on it. And uh, it wasn't 100% complete and I've been doing little things to uh, bring it more to 100% completion. But uh, right now it's uh, pretty good condition, running great, and just a few minor things I need to do yet. It's fun, it's a great car. It's a car that was reborn, and now they're reappreciated for what they are. Silver was a color that came out late in the model year. It wasn't available in the beginning of the year, so there were very few cars that were painted silver. Corvette is the American sports car, and uh, it's you know, loved by so many people. It's evolved through the years. It's gotten more sophisticated from its origins. And I guess maybe you've heard in 2020, there's gonna be a mid-engine Corvette. So Corvette will be right up there with all, with all the other marks that are more international. Well, I appreciate your interest in my car. It's a wonderful car. I get a kick out of it. And it's nice to see other people enjoying it for what it is.